Hey, collective. Welcome to my channel, Divine Two Tarot. I'm your reader, Anetta. And we're tapping into the energies of you and your person. Collective, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless. Let's go ahead and jump on in and rock and roll. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Tula Tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. All right, collective, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull on the energies of your person in their 5D state. Okay, these are messages or something that they want to tell you that they haven't conveyed they haven't opened up about but they want to say okay and then we're going to dive off into the energies and see what spirit has to say about this this is a different reading i'm trying to to do different um spreads and pull on energies differently because honestly the message the messages that has been coming out lately it's been harsh, it's been honest, and for some of you, it's been brutal. So I, I kind of want to tap a little bit further into the energy of what your person needs to say, wants to say, has to say, but hasn't said. I think that would be healing for the collective, okay? So let's see. Let's jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what message do you have for the collective regarding their person and their inner thoughts look at this jumping right on out your person wish they could be like you i'm getting a leader, a leader energy here i'm getting a jealous energy okay your persons they 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 see you in a higher status Thank you for the confirmation. Okay, they 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 think you're better than them. <laughs> they think you're better than them. Period. They look up to you, collective. Your person looks up to you, and it's making me feel as though it could be an issue with your person because they see they see the 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 light they see the enlightenment in you thank you holy spirit i couldn't get it out <laughs> i couldn't get it out because your person wish they could be more like you they see that loving caring kindness that you possess collective that you have given to your person and it's like damn how the collective how you how y'all doing this how you how you how you operating in love energies like this it's like they're in awe or it's amazing to them just how beautiful you are. Okay. All right. With this, I wish I could be more like you in the first energies. Uh, okay. You may look up to you, collective. Your person looks up to you. I'm blocked. <laughs> you got your person blocked, collective. Look, they want to come in. They like, shit, I can't get to you. Because I'm blocked. Like, can you please let me in? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's it's Okay. These feelings are eating me alive. They're craving your attention. Collective, your person is craving your attention. Here, my life is a mess right now. This is why they wish they could be more like you because they see how you handle issues and situations in life that they, 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 they see, huh, what's the words? collective your person is like they admire you boom there you go your person admire you babe they admire how you handle things they admire how you carry yourself especially navigating the, through bullshit in life they see how you recollect yourself they see how you operate and challenging energies especially with them it's making me feel like collective that your person could have acted an ass 
could have been with the bullshit and they brought it to your table and you maneuvered through that situation through those energies with grace ease confidence and they're like how the fuck you do that there how can you be so beautiful I heard so anointed. Mm. They see your beauty. They see your worth. Some of them see your purpose. And it only came after they had to sit back and observe <laughs> exactly who the fuck you are. <laughs> this is why they wish they could be more like you. They admire that. They admire your character. They admire your mindset because mm. their life is a mess so they're 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 actually referring to how you will handle things when it comes to issues in life they're trying to apply that to their own life mm. they're trying to they're trying to huh your person is trying to get it together. They're trying to get their life together. They're trying to get their energies together to where they can heal and move forward. They want to know will this ever change. They want to know how they're feeling or the feelings that you have towards them. Will it ever change? For some of you guys, you're blocking out this energy to the point where they don't, they can't feel you. you your, your energy is not around to help save them. To help guide them. You were very loving, nurturing, and caring to your person. But something happened to where, boo yeah, you had to block that ass. Hence the reason why they feeling your, you, your blockerization. <laughs> That's not a word. I just made it up. But they feeling all this blockerization that you have, that you're operating in. You're not fucking with your person. I keep getting this energy. My collective that I'm picking up on for the past couple of weeks, damn, a couple of months, let's keep this shit 100. You, it, it's like a, mm-mm, 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 you don't, you, 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 you rather let go and let God. You're so different from the people that is around them. This is why they wish they could be more like you. You show... Your, you sh you have showed your person a different side of life, a different way of being, or a different way of showing up in life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And they admire that. It's like they never met somebody like you before. It's giving me the energy of your person always having to deal with the hard knocks of life until they met you and they observe. And they, they looked into how you flow in life. And they like that because it's calm. It's endearing. It's, it's, it's nurturing. They never had this before. Your person never had it. Your person have abandonment issues because they do not want to be alone. Thank you for the confirmation. This is why they're admiring you. This is why they're looking into you i heard okay some of them is looking out for you they're looking out for your well-being or they're looking out for you to come around or they're looking out for the opportunity to get back in your energy something of the sort yeah you trigger your person you trigger them into an awakening ah you trigger them into an awakening oh yeah Mm -hmm. And it's because of the fear of abandonment issues. Your person have abandonment issues because they don't want to be alone. So, collective. By you doing you, you operating in the energies of salvation. Go ahead with yourself. You're operating in the energies of healing, self-love. Go ahead with yourself. You are triggering your person to do the same. This is why they wish... They could be like you. They see healing. They see they the the collective. They see how you do that there. <laughs> they do. 
It's like, damn, I'm, I, I got one. But do they really? Do they really got you or they got one like you? Huh. It's starting to make me feel like your person. They just couldn't get it together. They couldn't click clack their shit together in order for them to show up. In the, in the energy that they needed to show up in the connection with you. They see that now. They're longing. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, let's get with it. Look, collective. I got a new deck. I got a new deck. It is called Message of Love Oracle Deck. Beautiful. And, and, I, and I wanted to see what these messages have to say. I wanted to try it out. Because I believe that um, there could be some truth that's coming to you regarding your connection with your person. So let's rock. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's the message? Ah, uh, this is a good energy. Hmm. Hmm. So, for some of you guys, your person is reminiscing. Reminiscing on the past love that you two share. Very nostalgic energy. Reminiscing on what they could have had with you. They miss your inside jokes. So, you know, you guys had a connection to where only you two was in on the joke. Especially when it comes to you going out, being around family and friends. It's like y'all had an inside connection. And it was playful. It was loving. It was, you know, it made you two laugh. Like, only you two get it. And, and that was beautiful. And they're remembering that connection that they have with you. Like, damn. I'm getting like, damn, that was my boo. That was my butt. Because we, we, we connected. We connected. We got each other. We Shit, we was laughing at the world with each other. <laughs> that type of energy. And now your person is dealing with the shadow side of self. Now, when you deal with the shadow side of self, that means there is something that happened in your 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 character or your character okay in your energies to where you have to take a step back and look at self mm -hmm. your person your person feel as though you made them realize their flaws within their self this is the reason why they wish they could be more like you that's what i'm saying your person they like they see the truth in you or they see the truth about self in you and they want to they want to combat that they want to correct that here your person was being dishonest though not only was your person being dishonest i heard they was being disloyal this this dishonesty energy giving me disloyal energy so they wasn't loyal in this connection because they was always lying this honesty this is a liar right here this is a lying ass and, and they have to deal with the lies that they have told you or the lies that they have created here. Shit, by lying, I ripped us apart. Look. The fucking liar. They know what they done. They know what they done to sabotage this connection. There was too many disagreements. Too many arguments. Your person wishes, though, you could understand them when... It comes to these disagreements and arguments. So it's starting to make me feel like they wish they could could have convinced you of their lies, of their dishonesty. But collective, you ain't having it. Mm -mm. You ain't having it. And you told your person, you showed your person. Uh-uh, you got to do better than that, baby. You got to show up a little bit more better than what you did or what you're doing. Yeah, because you're concentrating on self-love here. Yeah, you concentrating on self-love. Because, you know, it's making me feel like your person gave you no choice. Your person gave you no choice as to what to do and how to do it. Oh, that's way too many. Uh-uh. Let's get some more energy. 
Let's get some more energy. Let's kick out one more. Okay. Your person is full of, is full of regret. They're full of regret of all of the choices and decisions that they have made. They're sitting back contemplating and thinking about what it is that they have done. They're sitting in confusion and illusion here. Your person, no, they destroyed the chemistry that you had between you two. Now they start, now they starting to see the value of this connection. Now they want a reunion of this connection because now they're understanding they're understanding that your connection that you had, that you two had was just intense. It was very intense. And they didn't value the connection. This is why they're regretting it. They're, they, they didn't value it, but now they're starting to understand. They're starting to understand the reasons why they disconnected or they went in another direction here. Indecisive. Yeah. Your person know they made a mistake. They know they made many mistakes in this connection because they neglected you in this connection. And now your person is broken. Your person is broken hearted. They're broken in spirit because they want your forgiveness. Your person is longing and craving for your forgiveness, but they're holding it back. They're holding back their intentions from you because they feel embarrassed. Knowing damn well that they want to mend things with you. Mm hmm yeah they want to fix the connection they should have expressed <clears throat> their love for you but they didn't you know person is struggling over past decisions and actions that they've taken that they know that it was a mistake they self-sabotage this connection they self-sabotage things with you they know they messed up they know they messed up the good things that you brought into their life and they now they're reminiscing being very nostalgic about it about the dishonesty Dealing with the shadow side of decisions that they have made. Now they're sitting in confusion and in regret because of the dis disagreements. They, they, your person, they, they never stood in the truth of self. Uh uh. They was busy daydreaming. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fantasizing, daydreaming about what it is that they want to have or what it is that they could have. It's making me feel like that they had ego issues. They could feel as though they could have done more or had more outside of this connection. Your person was wasting time. Your person was wasting time here. Yeah, wasting time daydreaming. <sighs> For some of you guys, your person is overthinking about the mistakes that they have done, how they self-sabotage this connection because they were indecisive. They couldn't make a decision between you and another situation or another person here. And now they have to deal with the shadow side of self or the decisions that they have made. They want to mend things. They want to bring it back together. They want to fix the connection. They want to fix the connection that they have neglected. Because they didn't see no value in the connection when they had you. What else can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Now they feel guilty. Guilty of the things that they have done. The decisions that they have made. They feel the pain from the decisions that they have made. This is why your person wished they could be more like you. Because you saw, you saw the beauty in the connection and you tried to go for that. You tried to nurture that. You tried to show your person that, but they was just refusing to see because they were indecisive between you and another connection or another person or something of the sort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now they want to escape. Escape the consequences of their actions here. Yeah, they having hope. They holding on to hope. Hope that they, they could come back to you because they feel as though it's destined. So some of you guys, your person feel as though it's destined for you to... You two to be together regardless of the choices that they made against this connection here the person feels unworthy they feel unworthy because they know they fucked up they have no understanding 
And this is why they need some space. They need some time and space in order for them to come back and talk to you with this conversation and reveal the truths about the reasons why they did what they did. The person is sitting unsatisfied because they're going through an ego death and they didn't expect this outcome that they have with you, this disconnect. They didn't expect that because they felt as though because you was in the soul contract that Booyah, you guys will always be together. And now they're realizing that you're irreplaceable. They're reflecting on the love that you guys had. And they know that you have unfinished business. They want to start a new chapter. Because this is a soul time that they had shown up absent from. Damn it, they detached. Because of a third party. Now, they, they don't appreciate that third party. Or they feel unappreciated. Be, or they had the third party because they feel unappreciated. And now they're damaged goods for all the secrets that they kept. And all the lies that they have told. Mm. Your person, I mean, you know, it's like they 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 didn't have no understanding. They didn't have no clue as to how important or how significant this connection was with you until they lost you. Until they did things in this relationship that went against the laws of love. And now they're sitting in regret. They're sitting in regret with no understanding. Okay? So, you know, for some of you, your person, it's like when you have that fucked up energy, or how should I say, when you have that energy of, damn, I fucked up. Damn, I, I didn't know it was going to end like this. Or damn, I, I just didn't have the understanding that I needed when I had the connection. You know, it's um, it's discerning. They feel guilty. They feel guilty about the things that they've done against this connection. And now they're daydreaming. Daydreaming about reuniting, coming back around, something of the sort. Let's get some more. Reveal. Now they want to reveal the truth. The truth about their feelings. The truth about the regret. The truth about the dishonesty. Because they know that you're irreplaceable. But they were just so indecisive about the destiny that they wanted to embark on. Whether it was with you or with somebody else. Now they're holding on to hope. They're holding on to the hope of reuniting, coming back together, healing this connection with you. Yeah. But their ego got in the way. The person, huge ass ego, got in the way of this connection being successful and they didn't expect the outcome that they have received because of their ego and the mistakes that they have made now they wish that they could make things right with you but they let their pride get in the way of your connection now they're sitting here daydreaming daydreaming about the possibilities that you two could have had or that you could that you two could stand to have if they could just get it right. The dishonesty, the disagreements, the guilt that that your person is holding is making them go through some type of ego death because we have shadow side and ego. This is an ego death with reveal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Your person is going through an ego death about self. And that's where they need to be in order for them to reconcile or rectify the connection with you, if you're willing. Your person needs to go into self-love because we have self-love and ego here. So they need to come out of their ego, egotistical high horse, <laughs> if that's the word. Yeah. Come back down to earth and reality. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they have their head in the clouds about this reunion but your person is holding back waiting on divine time because your person is broken hearted about a third party now they're feeling unworthy your person needs to heal from such a, some type of connection or some type of lack or some type of disappointment especially with a third party here so for some of you guys your person could have went towards a third party and that shit broke it broke up it was all in divine timing. 
And this is the reason why your person is holding back from reunion because they need time to heal from the disappointment of going in another direction and that shit didn't work. Now they feeling unworthy and shit. They feel as though it was destined. This this connection is they feel as though it's destined, but they also too feel as though them not making it work with this third party was also too destined because they starting to realize where they were supposed to be in the first place. It wasn't with the third party, it was with you. Mm -hmm. They know they made that mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else can you tell me? Now they're reminiscing and daydreaming on the connection that they have with you, collective. Now they're starting to get some type of understanding about the destiny of this connection. Mm -hmm. The absence of you. Is a bit too much for your person. Mm -mm. They want to escape. They want to escape the feeling of feeling lonely. Yeah, because your person don't want to be alone. They don't want to be without you. It makes me feel like they're not alone, alone, but they feel lonely because they don't have you. They miss the chemistry that you two had. And now they're un unsatisfied here. Yeah. They're not happy. They're not happy with their self and the decisions that they made when they came to you in the third party. Now they want a new chapter. They want to start over. Yeah, they want to start over. And for some of you guys, they're going to reach out, talk to you. With this start over and conversation, they want to talk to you about having a new beginning when it comes to this connection because now they value it. Yeah, now they value the connection. Even though they know that you have too, that you guys have way too many differences, they still value this connection. They still want to hear your voice. They still want to talk to you about this. They're still willing to compromise. They're starting to look at this connection from a different perspective. They're starting to look at you in this connection from a different perspective here. Yeah. Now they want to take responsibility. Yeah, of this soul contract. So you're in the soul contract with your person, but you need a space. Either you or your person need a space to heal. And it's because somebody was neglected. Somebody re neglected the connection because of the secrets. They were chasing others. And now they missed the opportunity with you, okay? Holy Spirit, what is the intentions? Let's get some intentions. Holy Spirit, what is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective when it comes to this reading right here? When it comes to their connection? What is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective and God in love? Yeah, what is the intentions of the collective's person? <laughs> Thank you. Regarding love. One more? Okay. What is the intention of the collective's person regarding love? We have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the day. They want ultimate wish fulfillment. They want ultimate happiness with you. They see you as their, I'm here, a soulmate with this Ten of Cups. Being very nostalgic, being very emotional here. Mm-hmm. Your person is very emotional about the connection that they have with you. Yeah. They're emotional and they're pissed with this five of swords here. They're pissed about a choice that they had made with this two of pentacles. Yeah. And they was being sneaky and, and, and lying and cheating and sneaking off. Okay. Somebody want to ex escape the past decisions that they made. Being very guarded with this seven of, Pent or seven of wands here. Page of Cups, now they want to apologize because they went inside self to find self with this hermit energy, Virgo energy. And now they want to heal things with this four of swords here. They want to take some type of action here. Now, the reason why I say action with the King of Pentacles is because we have the Wheel of Fortune right here. So this is giving me action energy is to move things forward with you. Grounded, stable, rooted, showing up as 
somebody who you could rely on, somebody who is trustworthy. This is how they want to show up. <laughs> this is how they want to show up and move things forward. Mm -hmm. They want to course correct here, collector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to fix the damage that was done. They do. Because they know it's a lot. They miss your energy. This is um, self-revelation. I also heard self-preservation. So, I mean, by you showing up as the king of pentacles, as we've seen, you're reliable. You're stable. You're grounded. You're rooted. Your person see that, they want that. Holy Spirit, what is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective? What is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective? Thank you. Two of Pentacles, they indecisive. They have a choice to make. The seven of Swords, because they still lying. You know, it's making me feel like your person... They wish that things could work out with you or they wish they could that this connection could go in the direction that they require or desire, but they know that they can't show up. They know they're not adequate enough to give you what it is that you want, what it is that you desire and require from this connection or from them in this connection. And they, they, don't, they know that they got a ways to go. Your person know that they're not the person that you deserve. This is why they wish they could be more like you. They know they don't give the same love that you show them. But some of you guys, they're still juggling. They're still lying. They just want to get back in your good graces because you're the stable choice. I'm going to put it out there like that because that's what it is here. Collective. Hey, man, energy. Looking at things from a different perspective. Why? They're looking at you. They're looking at this connection. They're looking at this relationship from a different perspective. Yeah, now they're going to come rushing back in passionately and shit, but they're still not committal. They're going after passions and desires of their heart, and they feel as though that they could get that with you, but with this Knight of Wands energy is making me feel as though it, 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 it's because you, you are a stable option. Three of Swords. Heartbroken. They know they broke your heart with all this juggling energy and shit. This is why they don't know. They don't they don't know what to do. Ten of Cups. They see they see that they can have they could have had ultimate emotional fulfillment. High priestess here. They know that you're intuitive. They also, too, are being guided by their intuition to come back around towards you. But with this Knight of Wands energy, it's feeling as though it's because, like I said, you're the stable choice. So, in their intellect and in their mind and them using their higher sense of self, they know that you're the stable choice. But with this Three of Swords and this Ten of Cups right here, they know they broke their own heart. They had it all with you. And they lost it. Because of the seven of swords energy. They know they did. Yeah. That's messed up. We have the queen of wands. They're not confident. They feel worthless, useless, hopeless here. This is another reason why your person feels as though they wish could be more like you. Because their life is a mess. Because of this queen of wands energy. Um, also, too... For some of you guys, if there was another karmic energy with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, this is somebody that's bitter. This is somebody that's egotistical. This is somebody that's conceited. Your person is coming off as conceited because they had not only you as an option, but other options. But they starting to see that you're the best option. Mm -hmm. Shit. Strength in the reverse. They feel weak. You make them weak. They don't feel as though they can stand up to you. 
because they feel lowly in spirit. They feel as though they're not enough for you. And so this is why they're running or making the decisions that they're making right now because they feel inadequate. Wow. Yeah. Your person over here is just going through the shits. They're going through the shits because of the mind games and bullshit that they was playing with you. And like I said, this person broke their own heart because of all the games and the lies. And this is the reason why they just a total emotional mess. They all in their head about you and the things that they have done to you. This is the reason why they feeling guilty. They feel like guilty because of some bad habits that they have indulged in. And now they're beginning to chase this connection or beginning to take to, to chase you. Because they know that they have neglected you with all of these secrets that they kept. People are now gossiping about them or gossiping about this connection. Or they could have been gossiping to other people in secret about this connection. And they know they have ruined it. Ruined your reputation or ruined theirs. Something is happening next week. Your person is worried about it. So something's coming in next week that your person is worried about. Some type of truth that's coming in. You'll be dealing with a Taurus. Or you could be a Taurus. What else can you tell me? Something is happening this year. So something is going to begin this week. And it's going to be completed next year. Options. It's making me feel like collective. You have options and choices of whether you're going to continue to entertain your person or this energy. Here. Yeah. So too many losses. So there's some type of um, somebody lost your loyalty. Damn. Somebody lost your loyalty. And they're realizing this next week. And it's going to come to fruition next year. This is the reason why you separated. Or this year, I should say. And now your person is mad, mad. Because you, shit, you've been warned. You've been warned about the karma that your person is living under. Yeah, this is the reason why you quit. This karma right here, this is, this is, depending on the karmic will that you're on. This karma here is making me feel like you're on the upswing of the karmic wheel and your person is on the downswing because of their life being a mess right now because of the decisions and the guilt behind the decisions that they have made. Hmm. Wow. <coughs> Ooh, that's me, excuse me. Ooh, nose itching, <laughs> but that's the truth. Anytime my nose gets an itching and start sneezing and stuff, yeah, it's a big old tickle. <laughs> but this is what's happening with you and your person. It's a whole bunch of guilt and regret surrounding your person because of how they showed up in the connection with you. All right, collective. Well, let's get uh, let's get some advice. Let's get some advice and let's see. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the collective regarding their person? Thank you. We have a personal issue will reach a resolution. So it could be some inner turmoil, questions that you have about which, di which direction you should go dealing with your person. You're going to get that answer. Yeah, there's a win-win forecast out or win win outcome forecast so whatever you decide when it comes to this connection it's going to be the best choice for you you're going to have the best outcome for you because you're you're using your intuition you're using your your discernment in order to hold your vision you're being guided to do so. Mm hmm But some of you guys, you can have a new romantic cycle coming in because you balanced out spirituality and practicality and you took action on it. Now it's time to take action. Yeah. And by you doing so, luck is on your side. This is how come you have a win-win 
outcome forecast. But you got to be bold and, start and make the first move towards your new start that is coming. Okay? Don't let your past hold you back. Past hurts, past decisions, past trauma. Because adjustments are required and they're being they're happening. With this fiery climax approaches, yeah, they're happening because you surrendered to the divine. And because you did that, prosperity lies ahead. Okay? All right, collective, I'm going to leave it right here. This was a different reading. I like it. I like the energies that has showed up in this reading for you. So if any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.